All right. Welcome everyone. This is Weekend Cooking with Puneet. I hope you are enjoying your weekend. And today, what we are trying to do is cook dahi bhindi. I'm going to have it with rice. That's the reason I'm keeping um, rice ready. Uh, you can also consider having this with roti, chapati, or uh, maybe even now uh, parathas like maybe a malbar paratha or a uh, coin paratha something like that. So we start by chopping the okras bindi or lady's finger, whatever you want to call it. We need about uh, 500 grams of bindi for this preparation. This will serve. Uh, maybe two or three people. So once the okras are cut, we'll fry them. You can use ghee. You can also use oil. I'm going to use a couple of spoons of ghee. Transfer the cut bindis. Cut them into uh, you know, one centimeter kind of a size, uh, and then cook them well in the ghee or oil. Cook them until the color changes. You will notice that this slightly, you know, slight brownish texture starts coming on the bindis. That's when you will know that uh, it's getting cooked well. So after they're fried, uh, move them into a separate container or a separate plate. Uh, we turn off the gas now and uh, start preparing the other ingredients. We'll use a large onion. and cut it into small pieces you can also use two small onions in case you don't have a large one so bindi is something that's available to us all through the year uh, it's pretty good for health it's also good for people with diabetes and now we use about 300 ml of curd to prepare our curd mixture which is going to form the base paste for the um, curry or sabji that we are trying to make so here we are going to add uh, small quantities of uh, cumin powder coriander powder a little salt some bit of chili powder uh, all this is again depending on your taste uh, add a little bit of besan powder the reason we add that here is just to ensure the curd doesn't break in the hot temperature on the pan simultaneously because i am going to consume rice uh, i'm just starting the cooking of rice as well uh, we switch on the pan on medium flame add a little bit of uh, ghee add some mustard seeds cumin seeds add a little bit of hing and some bit of uh, ginger garlic paste once this is uh, hot we just mix up all these things and then we are going to bring in the onions that we had chopped and kept aside earlier so after adding the onions into the pan here we are going to mix it well and cook it for a few minutes it could take about 3 3 to 5 minutes for the onions to really cook well Uh, as you can see now they are slowly turning into a golden yellow color that's when we know that they are cooked well now we reduce the gas to low flame before we add the dahi mixture uh, into the pan um, add slowly mix it really well and uh, here just a note if you want the preparation to Uh, you know be consumed with rice you can add maybe about 100 200 ml of water here that will give it a you know bit of sambar like texture uh, for now i'm not adding it because i'm planning to have it with chapati as well as rice that's my plan as of now so i'm not adding it but in case you want to have it with rice you can add about 200 ml of water after cooking it well for about 5 to 6 minutes Uh, when you notice that the oil, the ghee or oil is getting separated, that's when you will add the uh, bindi pieces into the pan. Mix it really well to ensure that 
the preparation the masalas as well as the uh, you know dahi mixture that you have prepared uh, is absorbed or soaked well into the bindis that's when your bindis will give you some really good taste after mixing them well close the lid uh, cook them for about 3 to 4 minutes as you can see now uh, the bindis are well cooked uh, probably well mixed also now we'll add the chopped coriander that we had kept aside earlier after adding the coriander we'll again mix it well and uh, run the last round of cooking uh, maybe we'll cook it for about 3 to 4 minutes here this is the final round and as you can see the best dahi bindi is ready to serve i hope you enjoyed this uh, enjoyed cooking this uh, i will look forward to your thoughts comments opinion and also any ways you can think of making this recipe better so there we go you can add a little bit of pickle or maybe some podi chutney powder etc for uh, added flavor thanks for watching this is weekend cooking with puneet thank you and see you next week